now the next thing that we will do in this video is basically to give a gradient color to our this app bar so that it looks more beautiful okay as you can see now this is basically a single color which is the default color of the app the purple color okay we do not need that we want to give it a gradient color or you can say a combination of two color now how we can do that as you know that we have to apply it on our app bar so here in our app bar we have to simply say here that is flexible space and then we can say container decoration box decoration gradient linear gradient colors and here we have to specify the colors so the first color will be the colors dot pink ascent and the second color will be the colors dot purple purple ascent and then we will set the properties for example from where it will begin and from where it will end so begin we can say fractional offset 0 0.0 0.0 and end we can say 1.0 comma 0, 0.0 and then stops comma 1.0 and we will say tile mode and the tile mode will be tile mode dot clamp now if you see here uh, this box decoration as well as this text widget contain these gray lines now what these gray lines simply means if you see here it has uh, these color okay pink ascent purple ascent as well as some uh, values for begin end and stop okay the fractional offset so it will not change okay it will remain constant the value of it will remain constant that is at runtime it will not change so as it will not change at runtime so it give us a suggestion that is basically we have to use a const modifier or you can say the const keyword alongside with our box decoration okay which contain these constant uh, you can say constant colors or constant values okay that is constant uh, code you can say so for that purpose we will add a const modifier or you can say the const keyword with it okay and it will remove the gray lines and I have told you guys we will use always the const keyword or you can say const modifier with the widgets or you can say with the values basically which will remain constant and it will not change at real time okay similarly here uh, when we specify the title first of all let me change here the title now we will provide here our app name which is iShop so this iShop value for the text widget will remain constant it will not change at runtime okay that is it is not a variable okay it is just constant value so that's why as I told you for constant values we have to use a constant keyword or you can say constant modifier with the constant widget which contain basically a constant value iShop so yeah that's it let's apply some style on it so you can say text style and the font size will be let's give it 30 and the font width will be font width dot bold 20 is too much big so we will go with 20 or maybe 24 will be good enough okay and we want this at the center of the app bar so we have a property after the title we can simply use that property which is center title okay this is the property of the app bar so we can simply set this to true now it will move to the center 
so this is all about our app bar that is how we can apply a gradient color that is combination of two colors on our app bar in order to make it more beautiful and then after it we basically also move our title to the center of the app bar